guys, it's Rachel. So today I just decided I wanted to vlog a little bit for you guys. I do have a fun activity plan that's Easter related, but that will come later in this video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to put that in the video, but I also wanted to vlog for you guys. So I'm planning to go to Duncan. I know that's a shocker. And I might go to Five Below and I'll probably go to Target, get some lunch. I have a live studio audience right now. Um, Emma's FaceTiming me. Hello. Are we surprised? It's me once again. Nobody should be surprised at this point. <laughs> no life. I just FaceTime Rachel. <gasps> yeah, me too. A medium blueberry pomegranate refresher. All right, you guys, so I am at Five Below now. I got my blueberry pomegranate refresher. I don't know, I wasn't feeling coffee this morning for some reason, it's just so hot. Um, it's 85 degrees, but I have had the best time jamming to nostalgic Disney songs on my way. I just had some Wake Up by Hilary Duff going. Um, I played Best of Both Worlds by Hannah Montana, of course. I played some Demi Lovato, which I want to talk about in a little bit. But I'm going to go into Five Below. I got my mask. And uh, let's go in. Let's see what we can find. We love Five Below. All right, you guys. So I am out of Five Below. I didn't find much in there, but I did find my mom some little shoes she likes. She likes the little slip-on shoes from there, so I picked up a pair for her. Um, and then I... I got Pocky, which is Almond Crunch. My mom got me this a couple weeks ago, and she was like, here, try this. Now I, I'm obsessed with it. So I recommend it. Um, so I picked one of those up, and now I'm going to go get some lunch. I think I'm actually going to go to the same salad place that I did in my Eating Green for a Day video um, because a good salad just sounds so good right now. And I would just like to say not wearing jeans is it like i'm wearing i'm wearing a skirt right now oh you guys cannot see that i'm wearing a skirt and i'm just i'm living for it it's just it's the best feeling you know we love the warmth oh my gosh it just got so windy out of like literally nowhere i was walking through like kind of like a tunnel area i guess you would say to get back to my car and it got so windy like so windy um so yeah i'm gonna go home i'm going to eat this enjoy my refresher and i think then maybe i might go back out and i might go to target no promises on that though um but i might and then i'm definitely going to go to starbucks you guys stay tuned all right you guys so i have my salad i have some spring mix in there i have egg and strawberry a little bit of avocado edamame um, mandarin oranges. Uh, what else we got in here? I think that's about it, but it looks so good. I am so excited to eat. All right, you guys. So I just finished my lunch. I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I just checked. I am two subscribers away from 1.3k, which is crazy to me. I love you guys so much. Um, so I will be jumping up and down if I actually hit it while I'm filming this video. That would be awesome. Um, but for right now, I think I am going to go to Target, but we're also, we're going to Starbucks and we're just gonna, you know, go to Starbucks, chit chat, do whatever. So will you join me? Let's go. It's Target time. Guys, look how cute this dress is. It's like cottage core. I have wanted this jacket for a long time and they only have it in my size, but it's not going to be cold out for too much longer. Guys, I love socks like this. I'm definitely gonna get a pair. Oh, look at these. Oh, gloss. Well, those are cute too. I love fun socks. Oh, I have to get it. Guys, these are adorable. Like, look how cute these are. They're so cute. So I go to the Easter section just to like look because I'm really only buying stuff for my parents for Easter. Um, just little goodies here and there, you know. And oh my gosh, there was a group of like five like adults. They weren't like teenagers. They were fighting over what candy to buy. Like not for kids, they were like, Suzanne, you're not gonna eat all those, but like screaming at the top of their lungs. It was like, oh my gosh. Like you're not gonna eat the caramels, 
I was like, whoa, all right. So I just like left the section. I went like a couple aisles over and waited because I was like, we're about to have a fight break out over some caramel eggs. So, um, you know, it's the pre-holiday scramble, I guess, but I did buy that jacket uh yeah i just that jacket was just so perfect and i know i'm still gonna love it next year it's just it's beautiful i'll show you guys what i got when i get home um i did get milk so i might just go ahead and put that in the fridge as soon as i get home that might not make it into the little hall but just know i got milk <laughs> for my cereal i you know that's riveting vlog content but i just want to let you guys know um but right now we are going to go to starbucks I'm very excited. So, I was going to do an Easter secret menu item video, but I went online and I was trying to find secret menu items for Easter. One popped up, one. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do it in a vlog and I still wanna try it. So we're going to be trying a Cadbury egg frappuccino which sounds so good. So a Cadbury egg frappuccino is a Java chip frappuccino, add frappuccino roast, add vanilla syrup, and add caramel syrup. That sounds pretty good to me. I am all in for that. And so I thought that would be like a cute little, you know, Easter activity we can do. Um, I'm surprised they didn't have more to be honest, but you know, you never know. But I just thought we could sit, we could talk, we could try an Easter drink, the only Easter drink there. Um, so yeah. With that being said, let's go to Starbucks. Grande Java Chip Frappuccino. Okay. And can I add um, a Frappuccino roast to that? It comes with three pumps. Did you want to do some extra pumps? Um, can I do two? Two extra? Yes. Sure. And then add one and a half pumps of vanilla syrup, please. Okay. And then last but not least, um, let's see. A half a pump of caramel. Yeah, we're gonna get a thunderstorm. I, when I looked at my phone, we had an alert. So, there's a watch right now, but uh, yeah, it's a little windy. My camera's shaking. I'm gonna roll up the window. I'm gonna leave my sunroof open though, um, because it is warm out. Um, if my hair goes wild, you know why. Okay, so I got the Cadbury Egg Frappuccino. I'm excited to try it for you guys. I thought we could just sit here and talk because I did want to talk about Demi Lovato's documentary. I watched it last night, well, the first two episodes of it that are out, and I just wanted to talk about it um, with you guys and see if you guys had like watched it or whatever, but we'll go into that in a second. Okay, so um, also sorry for the mess in the back. I have stuff to take to donate. I would do it right now, but they've told me that they leave their stuff, and understandably so, outside for two weeks, um, and I don't, I know there's a storm coming, so I don't want to, like, bring it there and it get all, I don't know, I don't want to bug them with it right now. I thought about doing it, but I was like, mm, maybe today's not the best to do that. Okay, we are expecting <laughs> bad weather, so, all right, so here's what it looks like. Hmm so good I love I love the Java chip frappuccino as it is but this just gives a little extra mm. mm hmm can't say that it tastes like a Cadbury egg but like whoever created this was trying to be creative I can tell because this is definitely like a good frappuccino to like build off of so like adding the caramel and the vanilla for like you know either like the cream or the caramel eggs mm-hmm that's really really good mm-hmm I would get that again although I do just love the java chip so um a java chip with raspberry in it Ooh, yes all right, so if you 
don't want to hear about Demi Lovato's documentary or what she went through um, just go ahead and skip ahead a little bit okay so last night I watched the first two episodes of Dancing with the Devil which is her YouTube originals documentary it's in four parts but the other two parts aren't out yet and so I started watching it and it was really sad eye-opening and I'm really glad I watched it I had a Demi Lovato phase back in 2013 when she released her album Demi that is such a good album like I've been listening to it today again and I was like oh my gosh that is such a good album like I knew that but like it's so good and it's fun to revisit the albums that you loved so much um like I remember I was like dad can we please go to FYE and like can we please get this album because sometimes we go there and get albums anyways so that was one that was really important to me and one I really really loved back then and still do now I just hadn't listened to it in a while so I wanted to watch it I love documentaries about celebrities I think Paris Hilton is coming out with one and so is actually I think Paris Hilton's is out so I might watch that and see if it's actually out yet I know Britney Spears is in the works of doing one I think um, but anyways so regardless I love watching those documentaries I watched Jimmy's documentary from a couple years ago I think it was called staying strong I could be completely wrong but um, this one I really really wanted to watch because I heard about it because of a YouTube ad like I was watching a YouTube video and it came up and I was like oh my gosh like I remember that day she overdosed so clearly I I was at work and I um, I walked past like the receptionist desk and she was like Rachel have you heard and I was like no like what happened she was like Demi Lovato just got rushed to the hospital and I was like oh my god what so I went running back and like I checked and I was like oh my gosh like that is absolutely like crazy that like I felt so sad and I remember I just like was listening to warrior because I know she had been through so much and it broke my heart that she had relapsed and relapsed so strongly and um, it it just made me so sad so like to hear the ends and the outs of the whole incident was really interesting to me and it takes someone so strong to open up about what she went through and she is so strong and I think Demi Lovato um, is one of those people that people need to really pay attention to in the regards of not only their talent but their character too. You know, mental health is a really, really important cause and it's a really important thing to talk about and for Demi to be able to put out this documentary talk about it really in depth for the first time what she went through was just eye-opening and I I personally cried and it really I got chills on my body like during the part where they were her friends were like talking about how they found out and her friend was like the night before Demi was like oh like let's hang out and she was like I'm sorry I can't I'm flying to New York by the time she landed in New York City when like you know how the plane you know you get service back on the plane everybody's phone lights up starts dinging again she said that it was all over the news that Demi Lovato had just been rushed to the hospital I cannot imagine like somebody who has listened to her music and seen Demi grow up and I'm not the biggest Demi Lovato fan like I'm not like a fan of her like I am Taylor for example but I still care about her um, so for somebody who has listened to her music and read her um, her book had it on her nightstand for years and 
just to hear that crushed me. I cannot imagine being one of her friends. They did not know the extent of what was going on with her. And like they said, it was, it, she played it off to be, um, she played it off to be fine and she was not. And that's just so sad. And I just hug your loved ones, hug your friends, ask them if they are okay, check up on them. Checking up on your friends is so, so important. And I love you guys so much. Like whatever you're going through, I swear my DMs are always open. Like my Instagram is always at the end of every single video and I put it in the description as well. I would, I love talking to you guys and you guys are family to me and I'm not just saying that for, you know, typical YouTuber things. I mean it. I love showing you guys my life and I love carrying you guys with me. In my saddest moments, the week before my birthday, the week leading up to my birthday, I felt so sad and it was because of a particular person. And I'm really glad that person's no longer in my life because I did not realize until I was away from the situation how, how much it absorbed me but the first thing I did was pick up the vlog camera I remember I went on a drive I picked up my vlog camera and I just wanted to talk to you guys and even though I didn't go into details about what was going on because I didn't feel like it was right because of the person and all um, I did let you guys know that I wasn't feeling my best and you know back in December that relationship ended and I was crushed I couldn't understand why my car is shaking because of the wind <laughs> um, hopefully it didn't mess up the audio but I was so upset about that situation somebody who had been so fake to me so Oh, I'm you know I'm so nice but they were not um, that I've got to tell you guys I got through that because of evermore by Taylor Swift and because I was able to distract myself by picking up the camera I love you guys so much like you you need to know that um, so I am incredibly happy. I am in the happiest place that I've been and I just, that situation needed to go away for me to realize um, how much it was bogging me down and um, how much I was being controlled and how much I had to like step on eggshells um, no matter what I said. Um, if something was bothering me, I really couldn't say what was bothering me to the full extent in fear of, you know, getting in an argument and not being able to like open up and like have a decent conversation as 20, 21 year olds, like just fascinating to me. My point of sharing my little story is I just wanted to tell you guys how much I love you and, um, I have never experienced anything remotely like Demi Lovato, like that is not the point, but I'm just saying mental health in itself is important. Um, but going back to Demi, I am so incredibly proud of her for saying her side and her, even her family sitting down and saying their side of it and their, her friends, like it's important for people to see that raw and real emotion. I've said this before about Taylor, but I'll say it again about Demi. These people are real. These are real people. I think people forget that celebrities are not emotionless robots sometimes, but they're real people and I love seeing that side. As hard as it is to watch, I love seeing that open side. And I feel like it's really important for her audience and even somebody who has her album, like, it's just that day is like stained in my mind like I remember just oh my god like is she gonna be okay like we didn't know 
um, if she was gonna be okay at first. Like, it's just so sad. Anyways, that was my little, you know, I just wanna know what you guys think of Demi's uh, documentary. Did you guys watch it? I highly recommend it. Um, again, if, you know, if it, that stuff does not bother you, um, just, it does talk about some sensitive topics. So just, you know, have that in mind. But if it doesn't, I do recommend it. With that being said, I think I'm gonna go home, put my stuff away. Oh, I'll do a Target haul for you. I did not forget about that. Um, so yeah. Let's head back home. Yeah, it's definitely about to storm. Right, Jazzy? Tell him. It's about to storm. Alright, you guys. So, I am home now. As we can tell, I look really blonde. Um, It is about to storm. Like, when I was driving home... Oh, the wind is blowing. I'm looking out my window. Um, anyways... I did put the milk in the fridge. I am so sorry. I know you guys wanted to see my milk, but you know. All right. So I did get the coat. It was actually half off. So that was great. Um, guys, this is just so beautiful. Like, look at the print on this. It's so cute. Oh, she hears her toy. She's on my bed asleep. Um, but yeah, I can wear that next year. It's also springy looking, so you know, if it's not like too hot out, maybe I could pair it with like a, a dress or something. You never know. All right, so then uh, I don't know if I should show this because if my mom is watching this, well, one of her presents is ruined, but um, I got her some slippers and they have little lemons on them and they're just so soft and fuzzy and I was like hmm that sounds cute so I got her some of these for Easter and then is that it yep that's it in that bag um I got some socks <laughs> as you guys saw they had like the little pigs on them they're just cute okay you know you can have a cute outfit on and then just have some goofy socks on nobody has to see them you know they're just in your shoe anyways um i got some robin eggs because i know that they're going to disappear after easter and i got jasmine i if i say her name and i have a toy in my hand she's gonna like get up but i'm gonna try and hide these so i can actually give them to her for easter okay okay all right so i got her this little chocolate bunny and it has like the little um tassels at the bottom so cute and then she can have this now I stepped on her ball but it was like plastic it wasn't like this material it was like hard plastic and I was carrying some stuff up to my room and it was right in my doorway and I had my hands full so I didn't see it and I heard a crunch and I was like oh no what was that look down it was her ball in about a million little pieces so um, Jasmine, here's a new ball for you, as if you don't have another one, but guess what? I felt bad, so here's a new ball for you. Oh, it made her get up from her nap. She actually, like, jumped up. Okay, not up, but, like, she sat up. Um, and then it came with this, like, crinkle ball as well, and she likes these too. They're simple, but it crinkles. I don't know if you guys do this for your pets, but... Whenever I buy my cat a toy or my bird, I like play with it as if it's my own. Like I'll sit there, I probably look like an idiot, but like I bat at it. Like I know what she likes. I know she likes like the little tassels. I know she likes things that jingle, you know, and for Taco, he likes things that um, you can either like really chew on or he likes um, like blocks and stuff. So, and he likes bells too, but I just know what they like. So I, I like test them out like yeah i anyway i think pet owners could relate but anyways and then i got some shipping tape um and then i got some jelly beans because i feel like you know they could either be for me or i'm sure my mom would happily eat them too um or my dad for that matter so they will get eaten so it's always good to have an extra bag of jelly beans on hand so 
yeah that is what I got and uh, I might sit down I'm gonna relax a little bit and then maybe later tonight I'll edit a vlog of me like decorating my room um, so you guys are getting vlogs <laughs> this week that you're seeing this so I hope that's okay with you guys but I just enjoy vlogging so guys I just checked my phone I have 1.3 K hold on it's gonna it's gonna focus I promise 1.3 K <sighs> I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting me into your life. Um, I'm sorry I look like this right now. I've been doing schoolwork and I may or may not have just taken a nap after I did some of it. Um, but I'm actually about ready to go take a shower, sit down and edit a vlog for you guys, continue some schoolwork. So I decided I'm going to wrap the vlog up here, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for 1.3K. That was such a nice way to end the vlog. I was gonna wrap up the vlog anyways tonight, but then I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Let me go get my camera. But I love you guys so much. I really hope this vlog entertained you in some way, and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you, in the next one. Bye, guys.